Bathurst is an unbelievable track. No matter where you're going in the world, everybody knows Bathurst. It's just been absolutely great to climb aboard the, the GDR GD3. It's just been a real eye-opener. It's been great, a great experience so far. And I'm sure we're gonna have a great experience moving forward on the rest of, for the rest of the weekend.
it's a long race, you know, where we don't really um, care that we're not sort of in that top 10. It would have been nice, but at the end of the day, it's a long race, a lot can happen. There's a lot of big names going out the front and they are going really hard. We're happy with our times, you know, especially the, the white car with Chris Pitha doing a 204, that's stellar. Um, it's only about one second off the factory team, so, you know, we, we're, we couldn't be happier with that. Um, Brett's, Brett's been pretty good too, he's done a 206, so he should be happy with that, I don't think he will be, but he should be happy with that. So I think we're okay. We're in, a, we're in a good spot. Yeah, really looking forward to getting in the car and getting into it now. Um, I don't like all this standing around, so uh, now it's business time. Um, the race is in front of us. We've got to stay out of trouble, um, try and stay on that lead lap, and, uh, and we'll move forward and have a solid result. It's definitely a, a different dynamic, that's for sure. Even just driving out of the pits then, picking your apexes, picking your, your, your reference points and your braking markers and different things are a lot harder, so um, yeah, anything's possible. It woke up in about two but yeah, it just doesn't feel real. It's crazy that they're here and that we're actually doing this. So it's, yeah, it's kind of cool, it's a cool moment. For a start, really disappointed to, to kick the race off like that. A little bit disappointed where we qualified, but I think our car um, was much better as a race car and race trim from what we did through our practice than, uh, than what it was in our right quality car. And that's what's key in these endurance races. So um, to have that incident this early uh, in the race was yeah, heartbreaking. Um, basically just arrived there, not enough room. The, the track was 80% blocked with that car across the track there at the um, at the dipper. So um, the only option was to commit to the to the the back end of the car between the car and the wall. Not quite wide enough for uh, uh, Nissan Nismo GD3 uh, GDR, but um, yeah, got away lightly I think. Bit of bodywork damage, pop the tire off the rim, and a, and a bend lower control arm. So I'm thankful that the guys, um, yeah, slugged it out there to get the car back out on track. Unfortunately, we're a few laps down, but um, we'll keep fighting, and hopefully we can uh, salvage something out of today. Uh, to be honest, it was pretty hard. I come down the come down through the dip, dipper and and saw Chris uh, Chris off to the side and and straight away my heart kind of went in my throat and went oh no what's happened so um, yeah no it is it is pretty hard when when I come around again and saw he had moved I, I, I was uh, it was a bit of a relief so and then when I come back on the back of him uh, in that in my stint again I, I, I was I was relieved that the car was going around but from what I've heard they've actually gone and robbed the dipstick out of my road car so. But you get that.
Uh, yeah, look, I was the first uh, first driver out in the dark. It was pretty good. Um, we we struggled a little bit with light as we had to uh, we had to take the 24-hour lights out of the front of it, and we actually had to put the sprint lights back in. So it was a it was a little bit dark out there. I felt like I needed a, a Labrador to help me around. But um, but no, we had it. We had a pretty solid run. We uh, we we got off the line in 27th, I think. Uh, once it, once the daylight come out and I started to get a bit more comfortable in the car and we could see properly, we uh, we started to bring the times down a bit and and had a couple of good stops and and uh, drove it up to ninth place overall. Uh, you know we, we can just keep knocking the laps out all day at that that time, and um, and it's just traffic like. You know, you get a clear lap, you get traffic, and then it's just traffic, 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 clear lap. So it's kind of just keep your nose clean. When you get clear air, just go go like a cut cat, and then, and then when you get to traffic again, slow down and get your way around it. having a pretty good run um, you know Eric and uh, Eric and Fred were were uh, holding their own there they they um, they were starting to get faster and faster and faster but um, we just had a little incident where uh, where Fred kind of he was just getting a little bit quicker and he just pushed a little bit too hard coming down through the S's and uh, had a car come up behind him and he and he's kind of uh, he's just misjudged the corner and uh, grabbed maybe a bit of brake bit of throttle at the same time and He's got out in the marbles and then uh, then couldn't get it pulled up for the corner and uh, and ended up in the fence. So, but it was uh, look. We other than that, we've been we were having a good run. Um, our first time here, we didn't expect too much, but we were uh, after our first stint, we were up in the top ten. So we were uh, we we're pretty happy with that. But look, now we just got to go home, regroup, assess the damage on the car, and and come back next year bigger and better again. So the car 38 is experiencing some heat issues, especially across the top where there's a heap of traffic. So as soon as it gets in some dirty air, it's just overheating in terms of water. So we brought it in, put the fans on it, and you know to make sure that we're saving the engine. So we're going to just cool it down, sit it here, and then go out for the last five laps. So it's really important that we finish the race 
um, you know, for, for all of our sponsors that are on the car. We want to make sure that we're crossing the line. Um, you know, at least one of them gets across the line today, so that would be nice. But yeah, so Chris Pith is going to go out for the final five laps and just make sure that we finish on a really, really good note after today and that our sponsors can be proud of us. Thank <laughs> you.